Truth Talk, your source for unbiased daily political news. What's going on YouTube? Today I want to show you guys a clip of Rob Reiner talking about Donald Trump and specifically the media's role in Donald Trump's rise. Rob Reiner is a filmmaker, if you guys didn't know. Um, he's on the show Morning Joe in this clip, again talking about Donald Trump and particularly the media's role in his rise. Um, he's arguing that uh, it helped him, obviously. And he's just talking about the state of the media and covering presidential campaigns. So let's go to the clip and then we'll come back to discuss. Those tough second, third, fourth, and fifth tier questions. Chris Matthews. Did you, well, did you wait, see what happened wait, when, wait, when, wait, when wait. we let Woodward ask the second, third, fourth, and fifth questions? Well, I, I don't. Same exact thing that happens to everybody else. It doesn't right? matter. It doesn't matter. I know. It doesn't matter. Chris Matthews held Trump accountable on his position on abortion. He right. didn't let him up. Right. He kept going at it, and it was the most revealing thing that happened during this entire campaign season. Mm -hmm. the, the words that have been flung out from his mouth to right. the, to the, are insane. If, if, if he was not a celebrity, mm -hmm. if Donald Trump was not a celebrity, right. the words that come out of his mouth would you'd see a guy in a park a lunatic in a park on a soapbox and you'd walk right by him but the fact that he is a celebrity all of a sudden we're all interested and you know i love steve kornacki i love the guys that work on you all right so we're back from watching the clip and uh as you guys saw rob reiner is talking about the state of the media and covering presidential elections and donald trump and he critiques uh certain people in the media and I think Rob Reiner is making some valid points here a lot of people that cover politics talk about they want to get the money out of politics they want to get rid of the ruling Citizens United and I don't know how we would ever accomplish this but there has to be some way to get some of the money out of the media because the point he's making is true. Whether you're a Trump supporter, Sanders supporter, Clinton supporter, whoever you support, this is a valid point. You know, we, the media can't just cover a candidate nonstop and give him all this free airtime just because he does stuff to get attention. He's just doing outlandish things. He's saying, he's saying things on purpose to get attention. The media is covering that because it's gonna get a lot of views. Oh my God, Donald Trump just said, you know, whatever he's saying, you know, Marco Rubio is his jackass and they'll cover it. But that's not really a news story. Their function is to report on news around the world. If Donald Trump makes a significant speech or he's at a campaign rally or whatever the case may be, something that's newsworthy, they should cover it, but they shouldn't just cover anything that he does that's at all controversial because he's doing all these controversial things to get media attention and i think everybody with you know half a brain knows that and this isn't a critique of donald trump you know if anything you could look at this as a compliment of donald trump if you're a trump supporter because he knows how to manipulate the media into covering him potentially all day just by saying things on his Twitter or saying things at his campaign rally that he knows is going to get attention. So I'm not critiquing Donald Trump in this video. I'm more critiquing the media because the media is falling for Donald Trump's manipulation to get them to cover him all day. So that's the point that Rob Reiner is making. I think it's a good point again. And, uh, you know, like I said, I don't know how you how you start to tackle a problem like this because you know, uh, cable news is in it to make money. You know, there are for-profit news corporation, Fox and CNN, MSNBC. They're trying to get as many viewers as they can to make as much money as possible. So I don't know how you tackle um, the news covering things that aren't necessarily newsworthy just to get ratings, but it is a valid point and I think we need more reporters out there that just cover things that are newsworthy instead of covering 
things that aren't and they're just covering things just to get ratings you know some honest journalists out there which you know is probably close to extinct at this point but I think we need more of them and especially in the general election with Clinton and Trump because I don't want all day to be on the news channels Trump said this about Clinton and Clinton said this about Trump and vice versa and da 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 and over and over and over again I don't want it to be all day that you know if they're making an uh, important speech if they're speaking to a large number of supporters yeah cover that that's newsworthy when they debate each other obviously cover that cover the analysis of the debates cover all that but I hope that they don't cover insults going back and forth and I really hope that both candidates don't get you know do that I hope they don't insult each other uh, every day multiple times a day uh, personal insults they can disagree on policy which they should and they should debate policy but again I hope they don't get in the mud so to speak and sling mud at each other every day and insult each other so let me know what you guys think do you guys think um, the media has been covering the presidential election fairly do you think Trump has been uh, effective in his manipulation of the media covering him let me know what you guys think if you guys like this video please drop a like if you guys have any questions or comments leave them down below and uh, please subscribe